imposter syndrome versus self-doubt. Hi everybody, I'm Self Worth Sam, and in this video, I'm gonna compare self-doubt with imposter syndrome. Let's do self-doubt first. Self-doubt is a feeling of low confidence regarding doing a task for the first time, such as going for a new job, maybe riding a motorcycle or traveling overseas, something that you haven't done before. So it's quite normal to feel like you doubt yourself. So that's self-doubt, it's a general low confidence feeling. Now let's talk about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is self-doubt despite evidence of ongoing success, despite evidence that you can actually achieve things, that you do have the skill, that you do have the intelligence. It's doubting that. So it's a kind of self-deception about your abilities. And it can usually be that everyone around you can see that you are intelligent, that you deserve your achievements, but you cannot internalize those achievements. That means you cannot feel on the inside that you truly had something to do with them, that your own efforts or your intelligence, your creativity, your leadership had anything to do with the achievement. In fact, you usually downplay it and say anyone could do this, or maybe you were lucky, or you can even say that it was due to uh, an error on somebody else, that they gave you the achievement because they got it wrong somehow, that it was a mix up. Also, imposter syndrome has an associated fear that people will expose you as a fraud, so whereas normal self-doubt doesn't really have that. That's just a, a feeling of, I don't feel like I can do this. There's not a fear of that people will find out that you can't do it and tease you because of it. So imposter syndrome definitely has this fear that there is this fraud police running around looking for phonies like you and they're going to expose you and that's going to be horrible and so that there's that fear as well there's also an, an element of narcissism narcissism comes from a greek uh, story where this young character named narcissist or narcissus he actually was very full of himself and this is where we get the idea of someone who is narcissist is selfish and toxic well this character from greek mythology was very full of himself and so the goddess of love cast a spell on him, uh, causing him to look at his own image in a pond, which caused him to stay at the pond side for the rest of his life and he died. And so the lesson for us is don't let self-deception get the better of you. You know, try to look through your own deceptions on yourself. So there's that element as well. There's other uh, aspects of imposter syndrome such as you don't feel like you deserve your accomplishments because of a self-worth issue or a self-worth wound if you've loved this video please like subscribe and follow for more tips